Hey YouTube, it's Lily. Um, back with another video in the same day. Um, first off, today is December the Friday, December eleventh, um, two thousand fifteen. Um, I made a video earlier. It's my first video of many um, on you know my journey to trying to join the Marine Corps Reserve. Um, my last video, I stated that I had an appointment with the recruiter today, um, and I did go to see him. Um, to begin, where to begin, um, as you know, or if you've seen the last video, I am a single mom of three, um, and I have taken the ASVAB three different times, twice with the Navy, once with the Army, um, like I said, there's a backstory to that, and I'll get into that in another video, um, right now, I'm just gonna focus on what I was told, um, with the recruiter and the information I got. Um, to start off, the Marine Corps does things a lot differently than the Army. Um, last year when I went to talk to the Army recruiter and, um, you know, took the ASVAB, um, you know, I was told that I would be able to take the ASVAB, but I would not be able to do the physical and swear in until custody of my children was signed over to somebody. And, um, it is the same for the Marine Corps in regards as far as, same thing you have to have custody signed over but for the marines you can't legally take your ASVAB if custody's not signed over whereas the army they take you anyways my recruiter said there is a way around that i don't want to get too much into that because i'm not really too sure about how that's going to work but basically um another thing that's completely different than the army is even once I sign over custody to my mother, I have to wait six whole months before I can do my physical and swear in. And that's with anybody because the recruiter was saying, you know, legally you're not allowed to, um, as a single parent, any single parent is not allowed to sign over custody of their children um, just for the sole purpose of trying to join the Marine Corps. Um, it's just, it's not like that. So you have to wait six months Um which isn't for me. I'm not too worried about the whole thing. Like I said in my first video, I have my mom is very supportive and she will be taking custody of my kids when and if I pass the ASVAB. Um, I'm not worried about that. Um, it's kind of a downer though because I'm 23 years old and um, I mean, having to wait six whole months before I can even, you know, do a physical to see if I can even swear in, it's kind of a downer. Um, it's just a lot more time. Um, but I'm not discouraged. Um, another thing I learned, I don't know if it was always like this, but for the Marine Corps, you have to score at least a 50 um, to be able to get in. You have to score 50 or higher. With the Army, it's a 32, um, and it's it's been like that. It was like that last year. But um, the Army is the basically has the lowered... Um, like qualification scores for the ASVAB to join and so that kind of got me like OMG like I'm going to be honest a lot of people who make the videos like to leave out their ASVAB scores and I like I want to be completely honest because I know there's someone who's going to watch this and you know get information and may or may not you know follow their heart and um I mean it's kind of embarrassing but it is what it is the last two times I took the ASVAB, I scored a 27. Um, that's horrible. Um, that I couldn't even get into the Army with that score. <laughs> but like I said, um, I wasn't studying too much. Um, I have three kids, and I work, and I go to school. So that's just like a whole bunch of... Um, I'm not in school right now, but I am working with children. Um, and it's just it's a whole lot. So um, studying for me is going to be, I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to make it a priority, but that's what landed me a 27 last time was the lack of studying. But like I said, the Army, you only needed a 32. Um, with the Marine Corps, it's a 50, so that's different for me as well. Um, I took the test in his office, and I scored all, all right, not... To be honest with you, I took that practice test so many times. I think I memorized it, so I'm not even going to base how well I did off of that. But um, one thing I really like about my recruiter is he gave me websites. He gave me a website. There is a few. For people who are struggling with the ASVAB, if you go to YouTube, um, you type in ASVAB math. Um, also, there is fortest.com, and you click on the section that you're having a problem with. 
Um, and for the ad vibe math on YouTube, it's Momentrix Academy. And he kind of showed me briefly in his office. They go over word problems, math knowledge, step by step. Um, and I looked through the ASVAB book. And when I was looking at the ASVAB book, I looked at the computer. And I'm like, these are darn near the same type of questions. So, um, Momentrix Academy, which is on YouTube, ASVAB Math, and then Fortest.com are websites that you can study if you're having problems like I am. Um... So, what what the Marines have, I can't remember specifically the name of it. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to attempt to say it. But it's basically, I think it's a PK. Um, it's like a test. It is a, a full-length ASVAB test they have at the office. It's full-length. It's timed like you would at the ASVAB test. But it doesn't count towards your ASVAB. It's basically just showing you, you know, what you're working on, how you're doing. And what I really like about this, actually, I'm really mad at myself that... I listened to everybody else, and the the three times I took the ASVAB for the Navy and Army, I did what other people thought I should do, and I didn't follow my gut. I feel like if I would have went to him first last year, I would have passed that ASVAB because he just so helpful. He gave me websites to study from. Uh, Marine Corps has a system, um, the K PK, I think it's called, where, like I said, you take the full-length test at the office, and it doesn't count towards the ASVAB, but you take that. And that's really accurate. Like, if you can get a 50 or above on that, um, you're pretty much set to go to take it at the, the MEP station. So he was like, when you come back, he actually scheduled me to come back. So in February, in February, I'm going to study for two straight months. And I think that's amazing. And in February, I come to his office to take the PK test. Like I said, I'm not sure that's exactly what it's called, but I think it's close enough. Um, I come back and I take the test in his office. And if I score 50 or better and I feel comfortable, then he will schedule me to take the real ASVAB at the MEPS. But like I said, there's going to be, it's going to, I'm going to have to do that a little bit differently because I have children and he explained it, but I don't want to get into it because I don't know. I'm just not going to get into that. But basically, I may have to, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I'm going to test for them. Um, I'm kind of excited. I'm a little... Like I said, the only thing that's a bummer is having to... The ASVAB for me, for a lot of people, they say the physical is, like, the hardest. And what, you know, in order for the their nerves to calm, they have to pass the physical. For me, it's the ASVAB. The ASVAB is what's getting me. I'm healthy. I don't have a criminal background. Like, I, I'm pretty confident that if I was going to physical, I would pass. Um... I'm not too worried about that. It's just ASVAB. It's not everybody is, you know, common sense. You know, oh, people say it's eighth grade math. It's eighth grade English. It's common sense, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've always struggled in school. Unfortunately, I was never able to get a tutor. I never went higher than Algebra 1 in school. And I've been out of school. I'm 23 years old. I graduated in 2011. I've been out for a while. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm just not strong at math. So I'm one of the people that have to study and I have to take it seriously. So it's going to suck to, like, take it. And if I pass, having to wait a whole another six months before I can even, you know, do a physical. So that's the only bummer. Um, at this point, I'm not leaning towards going back to trying to join the Army because I really want this. I really want to be in the Marine Corps. Um, the reserve is something I really want to do. I really, really want to do it. And for too long, for three years, I've, I've, you know, listened to everybody else and wanted to, or I thought I wanted to join something else when in reality, I really didn't. So I'm going to, I'm going to study really, really, really hard and, uh, I'm going to take it seriously. I have three kids. I work. So to the best of my ability, I'm going to, every free time I get, it's going to be towards, studying for the for the ASVAB and this video is nine minutes long so I'm probably going to cut it because that's probably too long for people um I'm gonna be a weird person and make a third video right now and um just to kind of brush up on my background and to go over what I what other information I learned um, from the recruiter so stay tuned thank you